hear that noise? No big deal, it's just a wheel bearing, right? Well, there's a lot of ways you can mess it up. Let's go over them. The process for a press-in bearing is a lot different than just a bolt-on bearing, and a lot can go wrong. We're gonna go over three mistakes of how you can mess it up. And if you need bearings or other parts for your vehicle, you can get those at 1AAuto.com. Press-in bearings are pretty much a one-shot deal. Once they're installed, there's no going back. So if you installed them wrong, you can't take them out and reinstall them. They're gonna break, you're gonna have to replace them. So you wanna do this right the first time. The reason for this is when you press out a bearing, it is going to come apart. Then you've compromised the bearing, and then when you go to put it in, if you put it back together, the longevity of the bearing is not gonna be up to par, and you're gonna cause issues. You're gonna have to replace it again anyway. The first mistake we're gonna talk about when pressing in wheel bearings is putting them in backwards. Some bearings, it doesn't matter, but if you have a vehicle with ABS and there's a tone ring or a reluctor wheel or a magnet on the bearing, then you wanna make sure you put it in the right way. When you pull the old one out, make sure you look at it and figure out which way the ABS ring is gonna go. You can see it's pretty obvious on this one that both sides look a little different. Sometimes it's not so obvious. Make sure the magnet is going to be facing the direction of the sensor. If the sensor's further in, then it's going to be up against it like that. If it's on the outside, then you're going to have to install it more like that. If you don't do this properly, when you go down the road, you're going to get an ABS light. Your ABS is not going to work properly. The second mistake that people often make when removing the hub out of the bearing, the race is going to come out with it. And they forget about the race on there, they put the new bearing in. When you go to put the hub on and attach it to the bearing, then the race is still there. It's not going to go all the way down. When you go to remove it again, you're going to ruin the new bearing. The third mistake people are going to make when installing these bearings is not using the correct adapters. When you're removing a bearing, it really doesn't matter. Just get the bearing out any way you can because it's junk anyway. When you're installing the bearing, it's a little more critical. If you use an adapter that's too small and you're just pushing on the center part of the bearing, then it's gonna put a lot of strain on the bearing itself. You really wanna be pushing on the outside. You could always take the old bearing and when you're installing the new bearing, just set that on top and then use adapters and push it in, that'll at least get you started. And then when you're installing the hub, once the bearing's already in there, you need to use the tool so you support the center race. Otherwise, the center race is just gonna get pushed out and then you've ruined the bearing. You can see here when we use an adapter that's too big, the bearing comes apart. A little bonus mistake you don't wanna do is installing the bearing with a hammer. You're probably gonna go in crooked and then when you go to install it, you're gonna mess up the edges of the bearing and that's gonna compromise the longevity of the bearing, you don't do that. So those are some of the most common installation mistakes that we have found with press-in type wheel bearings. If you've made any of these or have experienced any on your own, feel free to leave a comment below. If you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos just a bolt-on bearing and a lot can go wrong what was the next line some bearings it doesn't matter but others <laughs> I'm just all over the place the second mistake people do often mess up if you've made any of these mistakes or have other ones I'll try it again